I'm delighted to be able to pay homage to Mahboob Ahmed, or Uncle Mahboob as I called him, on the occasion of his birth centenary. Earlier this year, on 2nd February, it was my father, Shishir Kumar Bose's birth centenary. It was at my father's invitation that Uncle Mahboob came to Netaji Research Bureau, Netaji Bhavan, in 1981 to deliver the annual Netaji oration. I got to know him quite well at that time. He had retired as our ambassador to Canada. It is entirely appropriate that at his birth centenary, we are focusing on the shared legacy of Mahatma Gandhi and Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose. Shubhash Chandra Bose worked under the leadership of Mahatma Gandhi for 20 years from 1921 onwards. And just before his great escape from India, Gandhiji had written a letter saying to him, you are irrepressible whether ill or well. Do get well before going in for fireworks. How can we forget that it was Netaji who first gave Gandhiji the appellation father of our nation. In a broadcast from Rangoon, he had said, father of our nation, in this holy war, for India's liberation, we ask for your blessings and good wishes. And I know that every utterance of Mahatma Gandhi about Netaji from late 1945 until January 1948 was in the form of a eulogy. He wrote in the Harijan in February of 1946, Netaji's name is one to conjure with. He again paid his tribute to Netaji in Noakhali on 23rd January 1947. And finally, just one week before his own assassination, Mahatma Gandhi remembered Netaji on his birthday, 23rd January 1948. And he said that no other leader had been able to evoke as much affection and loyalty from Indians belonging to all religious communities and all regions, as Netaji had done. And in memory of that great patriot, Gandhiji asked Indians to cleanse their hearts of all communal bitterness. So we must follow the ideals of Mahatma Gandhi and Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose as we work resolutely for the unity of all religious communities and linguistic groups in India based on equal rights for all and firmly committed to the principle of equal citizenship. I went to Patna in 1991 to record an interview with Uncle Mahboob for a film I was making for the Netaji Research Bureau titled Netaji and India's Freedom. I would roll the camera and Uncle Mehboob would break down, weeping, thinking of his great leader, Netaji. And then finally, he was able to tell me that he had worked with Mahatma Gandhi, with Jawaharlal Nehru, but there was only one leader he was prepared to die for and he was prepared to die a thousand times. And the name of that leader was Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose. Here you have Uncle Mehboob saying so in his own words. Now you see me, I have broken down. And 40 years, 50 years, and there are people like me who are prepared to do anything for Netaji. I am very lucky. I have worked with Gandhiji. I have worked with Gandhiji. They are all very great. Very, very great. India is proud of them. But there is only one person for whom I will die. And I will die hundred times. And that is the Italy. So what was in that man? And the thousand like me who are prepared to give you everything. Everything. And that's all over India. From every part of India, every community. 